Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we will learn how to leverage ChatGPT to perform code testing and validation. So why don't we start by asking ChatGPT how to perform unit testing? We're going to say, how do you perform unit testing in your project, for example? And what you see is basically ChatGPT is telling you as an AI language model, I don't have a specific project to work on. But in general, unit testing is a critical part of software development to ensure that individual components or unit, units of code behave as expected. And it's telling you here are the common steps to perform testing. First, you need to determine the scope of the unit test. You need to write your test cases. And then you need to execute or run those test cases. And then you need to analyze the results and identify the failed tests. And then finally, you repeat the process afterwards. And basically, it's kind of concluding by telling you it's essential to perform unit testing throughout the development process as it helps catch bugs early on and improve the quality of the final project. OK, pretty good answer. Next, what if I ask ChatGPT, what do you mean by code coverage and why it is important? Well, I'm going to tell you code coverage is a measure of how much of the source code of a software application is executed during the testing process. It's basically a metric that tells us how thoroughly our tests exercise the code and whether any portions of the code are left untested. OK, so and of course, there's a lot of details in here, but that's from a very high level. What do you mean by code coverage? And basically, I'm asking these questions because I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write a test case for me for a given code. And I'm going to ask it as well to confirm whether we have code coverage or not. So let's go ahead and test it out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, could you please write a unit test case to the following code? And I'm just going to write a very simple code. Again, this is my function, my sum function that simply sums up x and y arguments and returns z. And here we go. Here's an example of a unit test case in Python for my sum function. And it's telling you basically the unit test here. And you're basically kind of testing um, the code using various test cases. So here you have test case for positive integers, for negative integers, for zero, and for floating point numbers as well. OK, looks pretty good. And of course, here it's explaining to you how the, that unit test is actually performing. What I'm going to do as well is I'm going to say, OK, write maybe a unit test case to the following code. And here I'm selecting basically another code that includes if condition or if else statements. So here I'm going to say basically just a simple function. Let's call it compare numbers. This function is going to compare simply y versus x. It's going to return either y is greater than x, x and y are equal, or x is greater than y. Let's go ahead and test it out. And it's going to tell you, well, sure, here is a unit test basically for our code. And what you see here, it's basically you are testing every single branch in the if-else condition. And that's kind of the code coverage that I was referring to before. And basically, we want to make sure that every branch has been exercised. And that means you have enough code coverage. OK, what I could do next is I can say, OK, do you have enough code coverage? And what I've done here is I simply copied this code here. And I said, OK, do we have enough code coverage here? And I basically copied the code. It's going to tell you, well, based on the provided code, we have achieved 100% statement coverage. Since each line of code has been executed at least once during the unit test, which is great. And what you could do, of course, you can ask ChatGPT to generate a unit test for your code. And then, of course, you need to review it. And then you can ask ChatGPT whether we have full code coverage for our testing or not. Pretty, again, pretty incredible. OK, next, what if I would like to perform fault injection test and validate, for example, a specific code? Well, what I could do is I what I've done here is basically I said the following. I'm going to say perform fault injection test and validate the code below. And here I simply included the code, which is my original function, along with the unit test that I included before. So ChatGPT basically mentioned that fault injection testing is a type of testing that involves deliberately introducing faults or errors into the system to see how it responds. And you will see that basically ChatGPT mentioned that to perform a fault injection test on the compare numbers function, we could introduce faults by passing invalid input values to the function and see how it responds. And basically shows you as well an example, which is again pretty incredible because now you can use ChatGPT to uh, first write test cases for you. 
ensure that we have code coverage, and also insert insert faults for you, to your code to ensure that, you, that your code is robust enough to these fault conditions. Okay, what I could do as well is I can, for example, measure the effectiveness of a given test case. So if I say measure the effectiveness of the unit test below, and here I simply copied the unit test that ChatGPT is generated, and of course you can go ahead and type your own here. I'm gonna tell you, well, the effectiveness of unit tests can be measured by various metrics, such as code coverage, number of bugs found, and time saved in the long run. And here, it's gonna basically grab every single item here and kind of comment on it, which is again, pretty powerful. I'm gonna tell you code coverage, the provided test case covers all the code, branches, and statements in the compare numbers. Therefore, we achieve 100% statement coverage and 100% branch coverage, which is perfect. And then number of bugs found, the provided test class does not report any bugs, which may indicate that the code is relatively bug-free. And then time saved in the long run, Unit tests can help save time and effort in the long run by catching bugs early in the development cycle, reducing the amount of time and effort required to fix them later. And these are kind of the three metrics that basically ChatGPT kind of recommended to ensure that we have um, a proper unit test case to our code. All right, so what I would like to do next is I would like to test ChatGPT ability to write unit test cases to a little bit more complex code. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to refer to our code that we got before for the machine learning regression model, if you recall. So I'm going to say, write the unit test case to the following code. And here I just copied and pasted my university admission prediction, basically, code. So here, basically, we're exploring the data. We are uh, checking whether we have null values or not. We are visualizing as well the data. And then we're going to split the data to inputs and outputs, x and y. And then we're going to split the data afterwards to x train and X test, which is training and testing data set. And then we're going to train our XG boost regressor model. And then we're going to explore the results and print out all the metrics. So if you press enter, it's going to tell you, well, here is a unit test case for the provider code. And here we go. Basically, what you see here is we're testing the data loading process. And then here we're doing the testing as well for the reshaping of the array and for the uh, exploring as well, whether we have missing or null values or not. And then here we're testing the model training piece as well of our code. Okay, pretty amazing. All right, what I could do as well, if I can say, could you please maybe perform fault injection to the above code? And I said, well, I'm sorry, but I can't perform fault injection as it goes against ethical and professional standards. Fault injection is a technique used to intentionally introduce fault or errors into systems and test its resilience and robustness. Pretty interesting because it basically in, in, uh, inserted or injected fault before to the simple code, but here for some reason it just, um, it mentioned that it can't perform fault injection. Okay, what I could do next is I can say, well, what is a regression test as an example? I'm gonna tell you, well, regression testing is a type of software testing that verifies if a previously tested functionality of a system still works as expected after introducing new changes or updates to the system. It's performed to ensure that the changes or updates to the system have not introduced any new defects or errors, and the existing functionalities of the system are still working as intended. So what I could do next, I can say, well, now I know what regression testing is. I can just simply say, perform regression test to the following code. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, copy my exact same code that I got before, which is my machine learning regression, basically, code here you press enter and let's see how that works perform regression testing on the above code we need to execute the same test cases that were previously executed on the same code to ensure that the existing functionalities of the system are still working as intended and then here is a sample regression test that will be executed test load test data loading that's one of them test data pre-processing test model training and test model predictions and here we go basically writing for you the regression test for that given code, and it's also explaining it to you as well, which is again, super powerful. And that's it. That's simply all I have for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next lesson.